For space enthusiasts, the six-legged orbital launch system, complemented by a robust water floating system underneath, has emerged as a familiar fixture. This combination has proven to be highly effective. In the long term, SpaceX will require a comprehensive redesign of its system, incorporating substantial upgrades to the launch tower, the orbital launch mount, OLLM, and, most importantly, the implementation of a fire trench system. But what factors led to the selection of this system in the first place, and what is the status of its progress? Let's discuss it in today's episode of NR Studio. Among the significant advances on Starbase over the past year has been the development of Pad B, which is now nearing completion. In considering Pad B, a major consideration that comes to mind is the fire trench system located beneath the orbital launch mount. This is a significant change from Pad A, and for good reason. Fire trench systems have long been a fundamental component of NASA's launch infrastructure, deftly channeling and dissipating the colossal energy released during rocket launch. SpaceX has successfully conducted preliminary tests of this system at the Massey test site, producing promising results. Indeed, in an interview conducted with Everyday Astronaut last year, Elon Musk touched on the prospective adoption of a fire trench system for Starship. The benefits of this system are evident. The fire trench offers a sloped surface that efficiently channels exhaust gases away from vital infrastructure, reducing the direct impact on the launch pad and adjacent structures. Furthermore, it operates in conjunction with a high-capacity water flood system to enhance heat and pressure mitigation. To develop the system, SpaceX has conducted extensive excavation beneath the OLM on Pad B. Initially, this area will be reinforced with a strong concrete foundation before the installation of a fire bucket system that will seamlessly integrate with the water manifold. Unlike traditional fire trenches that channel exhaust gases in one direction, SpaceX is innovatively using a dual fire trench design, which facilitates the safe dispersal of energy generated from each test and launch in two different directions. This configuration will significantly reduce wear and tear on the launch pad, increasing its sustainability for long-term, high-frequency Starship launches. As SpaceX advances in Starship operations, this will become increasingly important, especially with the upcoming iterations, V2 and V3, set to deliver increased thrust and structural improvements. The choice to adopt a fire trench design arose from the difficulties encountered with the current system. Pad A currently uses a water-cooled steel plate system, commonly known as a reverse shower system. This assembly comprises steel plates featuring perforations of minimal diameter, through which water is propelled at high pressure during ignition, facilitating heat absorption, and mitigating the engine's force. This system was implemented following the detrimental effects observed during the inaugural test flight of Starship, effectively mitigating the catastrophic ground erosion that occurred in Flight 1. Nonetheless, this approach is not without its constraints. Although it provides a degree of protection, it does not actively deflect the energy of the rocket. This implies that every test or launch continues to generate substantial dust clouds and debris dispersing throughout Starbase, thereby posing potential risks to the surrounding infrastructure. Furthermore, prolonged usage has revealed instances of discoloration on these steel plates, indicating a potential deterioration over time due to consistent exposure to high-intensity launches. Consequently, the Flame Trench system emerges as a superior long-term solution. Upon the establishment of the Flame Trench, focus will transition to the OLM. In contrast to the hexapod configuration utilized in Pad A, the OLM at Pad B will feature an entirely distinct design. Rather than adopting a leg structure, it will assume the configuration of a square block akin to the test stands or transport stands utilized at Starbase. This innovative design presents multiple benefits. Initially, it will incorporate a water-cooled deck, enabling the OLM to adeptly regulate heat and pressure with enhanced efficiency. In contrast to the external manifolds and piping associated with Pad A, the cooling system for Pad B will be seamlessly integrated within the structural framework. Another notable benefit is the enhanced mobility and ease of replaceability of the new OLM. In contrast to Pad A, which is permanently anchored, the newly designed structure boasts modularity, facilitating straightforward replacement or repair while minimally impacting launch operations. This innovative design will significantly enhance maintenance and refurbishment efficiency, 
guaranteeing that the pad remains in optimal condition despite SpaceX's progressively ambitious launch schedule. In addition to the enhancements made to the OLM and Flame Trench system, SpaceX is implementing modifications to the adjacent launch tower. Observations indicate that this new tower will surpass the height of the existing one, marking an enhancement that corresponds with the anticipated expansion of Starship in forthcoming iterations. The elevation enhancement signifies that Pad B is poised to assume a more pivotal position in SpaceX's long-term launch strategy, potentially supplanting Pad A as the primary launch facility. A highly anticipated enhancement will be the upgrade to the chopstick system. The newly designed chopsticks at Pad B will be refined to enhance their efficiency in capturing efforts, a key objective that aligns with SpaceX's most ambitious aspirations. Preliminary observations indicate that these enhancements will specifically target the capture of Starship, thereby facilitating the distribution of tasks between the two towers. The enhancements may comprise alterations to the landing rails, lifting pins, and comprehensive structural improvements aimed at augmenting precision and reliability. As per earlier assertions made by Elon Musk, the upcoming chopsticks are set to be both lighter and shorter than the existing models utilized at Pad A, thereby enhancing efficiency without compromising their strength and functionality. The substantial enhancements being introduced to Pad B are laying the groundwork for a more robust and sustainable future for Starship. Please provide the text you would like me to rewrite in a more refined manner. The inaugural demonstration of this system will represent a thrilling milestone, illustrating the extent to which SpaceX has perfected its strategy for rapid, reusable, and high-frequency Starship operations. Are you prepared to embark on this upcoming phase? If you are eager to witness Pad B in operation, kindly respond with Operate Soon in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, Kindly like the video and subscribe to continue following the remarkable journey of SpaceX. Concurrently, SpaceX is achieving remarkable progress in the development of its new system, thereby extending the frontiers of possibility in the realm of space exploration. Concerning the flame trench, it is probable that the excavation process remains underway. This phase is the most labor-intensive, demanding, meticulous effort to establish the requisite space. Upon the completion of that phase, the subsequent step will entail the pouring of concrete, a process anticipated to occur more swiftly. Concurrently, the pipeline infrastructure, integral to directing water flow, has been successfully assembled at the Sanchez location and seems poised for operation. Upon the completion of all preparatory measures, the pipes will be conveyed to the trench for installation. The advancement of the orbital launch mount is proceeding with commendable consistency. Similar to the pipe system of the flame trench, the OLM is presently being constructed at the Sanchez site. The scaffolding is intricately constructed around the edifice, indicating that the project has reached its most active stage. Upon complete assembly, the OLM will be relocated to the launch pad and positioned above the flame trench. Concerning the chopstick system, the initial segment has been successfully positioned on the launch tower. It is anticipated that supplementary sections will be introduced shortly, thereby augmenting its scope. In the interim, the installation of the drive systems facilitating the movement of the chopsticks will commence shortly. In light of these advancements, the momentum for Pad B is poised to intensify significantly in the upcoming weeks. Considering the present rate of progress, I anticipate that completion will occur within the initial half of the forthcoming month. This timeline is of paramount importance, as SpaceX aims to utilize Tower B for the Starship launch, with a targeted flight expected in late March or April contingent upon the successful execution of all preliminary steps. In addition to enhancing SpaceX's operational prowess, Pad B will play a crucial role in fully realizing the reusability potential of Starship. This represents a transformative advancement, distinguishing Starship from all other existing launch vehicles. The enthusiasm surrounding this milestone is unequivocal. In reference to forthcoming endeavors, NASA and Japan have recently unveiled a significant announcement pertaining to the Artemis program a development poised to redefine the forthcoming chapter of lunar exploration. A considerable amount of speculation has emerged regarding Artemis, particularly in relation to possible alterations under the new administration. Certain speculations indicate the potential cancellation of the space launch system, whereas alternative narratives suggest that Elon Musk is advocating for a governmental pivot toward Mars exploration. Nevertheless, a recent advancement has elucidated the trajectory of the program. 
On February 7th, the White House issued an official statement reiterating the collaboration between NASA and Japan in furthering the Artemis program. This announcement aligned with Japanese Prime Minister Ishibashi Geru's visit to the United States. For a consultation with President Donald Trump, please provide the text you would like me to rewrite in a smarter tone. The joint statement articulated that the United States and Japan are committed to maintaining their strong collaboration in civil spaceflight, aeronautics, scientific research, and human exploration, including participation in the upcoming Crew-10 mission to the International Space Station, featuring U.S. involvement. Additionally, Japanese astronauts will be involved in lunar surface exploration during upcoming Artemis missions. This serves to affirm that Artemis remains a top priority and will evolve accordingly. United States, Japan, and other entities have long maintained a strong partnership in space exploration. Japan has managed modules on the International Space Station and has successfully deployed astronauts on SpaceX's Crew Dragon with additional missions anticipated in the upcoming Crew-10 expedition. In January, the two countries established a partnership for the lunar lander missions, which include Blue Ghost and Hokuto-R. Furthermore, Japan is contributing significantly to the Artemis program. JAXA is actively involved in the development of the IHAB module for the Lunar Gateway, contingent on the continuation of that project. They are also involved in the development of the Lunar Cruiser rover, designed to facilitate exploration of the lunar surface. In return, Japan will gain access to Starship cargo for its rover missions, while Japanese astronauts will be allocated seats on the upcoming Artemis lunar landings. This update serves to confirm that Artemis will continue operations for the foreseeable future, ensuring a return of humans to the moon. These missions are of great importance to the world of space exploration, and their successful execution will lay the groundwork for significant advances in human spaceflight, with Artemis III emerging as the next major milestone. Of course, while the moon serves as the immediate focal point, Mars stands as the long-term ambition, one that aligns with Elon Musk's aspirational vision of interplanetary colonization. Rather than viewing these two goals as conflicting priorities, they should be viewed as mutually reinforcing. Progress made through the Artemis program will act as a foundational milestone for missions to Mars, while further pursuit of Mars will spur progress in lunar activity. The trajectory of space exploration is advancing rapidly, with even more excitement on the horizon. Let's examine the trajectory that will lead us to these developments next. As Pad B nears completion and SpaceX upgrades its infrastructure for frequent Starship launches, the transition to a fire trench system and an improved orbital launch mount represents a significant evolution in launch pad design. These improvements will significantly improve durability, efficiency, and safety as Starship technology advances. Meanwhile, NASA and Japan reaffirm their dedication to the Artemis program underscoring the ongoing progress in lunar exploration, which is laying the groundwork for prospective missions to Mars. Collaboration across these innovations is shaping the future landscape of space exploration. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.